Hello, honey. I'll be doing some extra time at work today. Um, Cupcake, sometimes I feel like you're working too hard for that paycheck, you know? You know, I don't really have much of a choice, darling. Oh, oh honey, I think our little one is kicking. What do you mean by kicking? Wait, is it time? Uh-huh. It seems our baby daughter is coming sooner than expected. Uh, well, darling, I'm going to the hospital now. Bye. All right. I'll see you later. Life is tough when your wife works as a designer in a huge office. She can't even spend a minute with her own husband. Uh, just wait a minute, sweetie. Hold on a little longer. Give up. I'm going to get that chip sooner or later. And then I'm taking over the world. Uh, no, you won't. If this chip falls in the wrong hands, it will be a threat for the entire planet. <laughs> so this means you should get out of my face while you still can. Just give up already. Hand over the chip and no one else will get hurt. And besides, you're pregnant. I wouldn't take such a risk if I were you. <sighs> All right, you brought this on yourself. If it wasn't for my baby kicking like Messi, I would totally show you what I'm capable of. <sighs> Hello, Rosie. I am here because I got the telepathic message you sent me. Uh, we need to have a serious talk right now. What do you want to talk about? I'm all ears. Uh, as we agreed before, this is going to be my last mission. Uh, so I'm finally leaving. Uh, Rosie, are you really going to walk away right now? Uh, I think I've had enough of this spy stuff. Uh, and my family needs me. Uh, please don't forget that they can't know I was a secret agent. As you wish, but let me give you a word of advice. Uh, sure, tell me. You better tell them who you are, because life's too short to keep secrets. <sighs> I guess so, Captain. Come on, Rosie. For us, you'll always be the best spy ever. Our spy organization owes you a lot. <sighs> no way. I said I am done with this job. Ah! Yeah! Take that! Take that! Uh, sweetie, cut it out. What are you doing? Take that! Mom, don't you get it? I'm playing the newest spying game right now with virtual reality goggles. Hey, where did you find those glasses? What do you mean? These were inside your makeup drawer. Inside my makeup drawer? Okay, we need to have a word about this later. Hey, my little cupcakes. I've made a delicious lunch just for you. You girls are gonna love it. Hooray, Dad! I hope you made my favorite honey pancakes. They're delicious. Well, they're almost ready. Only five more minutes to go. Oh, or maybe it's already been five minutes now? Hmm, time goes by suspiciously fast here. Don't you think so? Of course it does. Especially when Mom lets me play video games for three hours straight. Those hours go by like minutes. Uh, yeah, actually pretty fast. Does this mean... Oh, it seems like lunch is ready, girls. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Let's fill up the tummy. These are the best pancakes you have ever had in your life. Uh, okay, we should go wash our hands now and then... <laughs> pancakes we'll with honey. Oh, yeah. I'll call you back later. All right, sending spies to your location right now. No one will ever find out, I promise. Hey, hold on, I'll call you back. Agent 7, do you copy? Roger, the audio signal is good. Why are you so worked up? Haven't you noticed something kind of weird is happening with the time? I recently fell asleep on the job, and that has never happened to me before. I guess something weird is actually happening with the time. Oh no, it may be the work of... Don't tell me the watchmaker is back again. Looks that way. Listen, uh, send me a list of spies who can deal with her. I'm on it, but there aren't that many left. There's only one person alive, capable of defeating the watchmaker. And who is it? Send me a picture right away. Oh no, 
Anyone but her. <laughs> Mom, why do you always win at this game? You don't look so young anymore, but you are still an athlete. Hey, honey, keep in mind your mommy is totally fit despite her age. So it's only natural that I beat you every time we play. I remember the first time I saw your mom. She was the most gorgeous girl ever. She was also kind of heroic as well. All right, cut it out, Dad. I've heard that story like a million times now. No, hear me out. She managed to save me from an explosion that was about to blow up her city's shopping mall in like three minutes. <laughs> All right, honey, it wasn't a big deal. Just think of it as a happy accident, you know? Listen, Mom, we should start watching the new spy show on Netflix. It's kind of interesting. Oh, no, nothing about spies. Oh, someone's calling. I'll be right back. Sweetie, don't you worry. Mom will go to bed now, and as soon as she hits the sack, we'll watch that spy show. You promise? But of course. <sighs> Hello, are you kidding me? Because I don't see a reason for you to reach out if I quit my job like 16 years ago. Yeah, listen, if we don't do something about this, the planet will be in danger. In danger? Uh, don't tell me this has to do with the weird time stuff that's been happening. You're right, and the only one left who can help us seems to be you. Uh, I'm so sorry to say this, but I'm retired. You better find someone else. Unacceptable. You are the only one who can deal with this. No freaking way. I bet there's a spy who can do much better now. Besides, I quit my job more than a decade ago, and you guys know that. Uh, Rosie, please understand. I wouldn't be calling you if there was someone available with your expertise. Uh, but try to catch my drift. Nowadays, I have a husband and a little daughter. I can't abandon them to be a super spy once again. I already enrolled your daughter into a school for young spies. And about your husband, make something up. Uh, okay, I guess I'm in for old time's sake. Thank you, agent. Okay, I know this is going to sound a little bit shocking, but I have something important to tell you. Mom, we already know everything, because we heard you thanks to the cool invention I recently made. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Wait a sec, don't jump to conclusions yet. Honey, let me explain everything to you. You don't have to explain a thing. I've already noticed that great designers like yourself are in high demand. Mm -hmm. So you can go back to work anytime. We don't mind, darling. Besides, it would be awesome to change schools. I want to meet new people. Hmm, is that so? Uh, okay, honey, I'll go pack your bags and you'll leave today for your new school. Just pack up your essentials, honey. In the meantime, I'll go make some more food. Huh, back in the day, I didn't get to destroy you, babe. But now your days are numbered. Jeez. This school is something else. I hope I get to make some new friends here. Well, I wonder which one is my locker. Oh, I think it's this one. Huh? What the heck? And who the hell are you? Attack mode activated. Relax, she's just a newbie. And by the way, she's Mrs. Rosie's daughter. Howdy. And who are you guys? And how did I get here? That's simple, because he opened a special locker and it took you straight to the secret spy room. This is where we test new gadgets and learn new tricks. And this place is also our secret room. And no one should know about it. Stop. What do you mean by spy? I thought spies were something just made for TV and kids shows. Are you kidding me? Your mother is like the best spy in the whole world. She has been my hero since I was a little girl. <sighs> it's a shame. She's been retired for 16 years. She completely went off the radar. What do you mean by spy? My mother is just a fashion designer and she quit her job the day I was born. A fashion designer? <laughs> <laughs> well, yes, you guys are just messing with me. Is it some kind of initiation ritual for the new school? What are you talking about? And it's kind of weird that you don't know the basic facts about your mother. But my mom can't be a real spy. She totally hates that mumbo-jumbo stuff. 
I bet it's all part of her cover up. Okay, think what you want. Believe it or not, it's up to you. Okay, whatever. We have to get this newbie here a cool suit like ours. I doubt she can be a good spy dressing up like that. Hey, what's wrong with the way I'm dressed? We don't care about that stuff. It's just that we have a special uniform, and you have to wear one too. Mm, okay, as you wish. <laughs> All the children of my enemies are gathered in just one place. But the one that interests me the most is little Emma. It was her dumb mother who managed to defeat me the last time we met. Never mind, I came back and I'm ready to take over the whole world once again! And what is this suit for? It's ugly as hell! What do you mean? This is our spy suit! These special suits keep you both warm and fresh! Oh yes, and it can be destroyed, so you don't have to be afraid! What should I be afraid of? So do you mean I might be in danger now? You are a spy now, or at least you are here at this school. And that's why danger will always lurk around every step you take. Almost everyone will want to hurt you from now on. And the fact that the world is still turning, it's all because of our work. I still don't get it, guys. This all feels like a dream. We know it's really hard for you to believe it, but it's not a dream. You're in a real spy school now. We'll show you how we do things around here. We've got your back from now on. So try to relax, you're going to do great. Whatever, everything feels like a fever dream. But it isn't. We're going to show you around. Okay. And this is gonna be your room. Mm, yes, so I guess it's goodbye to privacy. And the whole class used to share just one bedroom. Mm, I'm glad I joined after that. I guess I'm just in a bad mood, and this doesn't help at all. And what happened? You can tell me. Now we're like friends, right? So we're always ready to listen to you. You girls are spies and don't realize what is happening to me? We don't read minds yet. Yeah, we are spies, not psychics. As it turns out, my mom has been lying to me for more than 16 years now. And not just to me, she lied to my father as well. Well, maybe she just wanted to protect you both. Especially since I heard on the news that during her last fight she was pregnant with you. That sounds crazy. I don't think anyone would do something like that. What makes you think that? Maybe her country needed her or she just needed the money. No way. I'm sure it was out of pure selfishness. You don't have to be so harsh on your mom. She's your mother after all. And a spy. I don't know, girls. I'm feeling so blue. But don't be, girl. We've got your back. So what? It doesn't change the fact that mom has been lying to me this whole time. I also have a bad relationship with my mom. It's no big deal. We all got our demons. Cut her some slack. And she's your mom. You should always love her no matter what. She'll always be there for you. And I'm sure she loves you so much. I don't know what to think now. She's always gonna be your mom, so don't stay mad at her for long. Parents are supposed to be there for us and support us every time. Yes, that's right. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I finally made it. After all these years, it took ages and hard work to earn your trust. I even had to marry you and have a little daughter. And I just had to play along about that crap of you being a designer. But I've always known the whole truth, so now you're going down, darling. Well, let's start with the fact that no spy can be a real spy without being in top physical shape, girls. Come on, we better start building some muscle now. You can start by doing some cardio on the bikes over there. Or you can throw a couple punches at a sack there as therapy. Hey, I'm not gonna throw any punches. Besides, who said I wanted to be a spy anyways? Well, as you are in spy school now, looks like you don't have much choice. If you don't feel like throwing punches, then we could do some laser tagging. Oh, Stella, I'm so glad you brought it up because I miss that kind of training so much. 
What? What's laser tagging? It's easy. You see those poles? You have to go through them without touching the lasers. Oh boy, but that's impossible. Trust me, you're about to witness a master class. Ta-da! As you can see, it's so easy. Come on, Susie, you're next. This is gonna be a piece of cake, and I just love cake. Hooray, hooray, not even close. All right, Emma, this means you're next. Me? For real? Oh, well, yep. Don't be scared. It's a walk in the park. Jeez, okay. Ah! What the? Are these just some stupid threats? Yeah, well, we wanted to scare you a little bit first. You idiots. Uh, Emma, no need for you to get so mad. We were just messing with you. Jeez, I totally suck at this. Don't worry, Emma. Not all of us got it right the first time. The more practice you have, the sooner you'll get the hang of it. I doubt it. How many times did I tell you I was out of the spy world, and yet here I am? Rosie, it's been a long time. Uh-huh, and I didn't want to see you ever again. I got all the coordinates and clues. I think your job is gonna be easier this way. But I bet you know she's so much stronger than me. Also much faster. I know, but time is very important and we need to move fast. Uh, where do I have to go this time? I don't have time for this. Besides, I'm done saving this planet. Listen, I also need to warn you that your daughter may be in danger. What? My team warned me. They've been watching her holograms, so that means... What? You were supposed to send her to that elite school so she would be safer there. Yeah, but remember, we are spies, and no one can guarantee anything at all. I guess I'm finding that stinky watchmaker right I now. I believe you will, Rosie. That's how it's done. Huh. They're trying to find me. They've got another thing coming. <laughs> I already have the perfect plan, and there's no way it can go south. Watch out, Rosie. It's time to finally settle the score. Emma, how much longer do we have to wait? We've been here for an hour. I'm sorry, I just had a little snack. A little snack? Seems like your city's about to pop like a balloon. Oh, come on. Just give the newbie a break. Oscar, she needs to learn way more about discipline. All right, well, I'm not going to eat anymore. Eat whatever you want, but not any more desserts. Or you'll end up using a Lizzo-sized suit. Okay, okay, I get it. All right, girls. We need to resume our training ASAP. I still can't get used to traveling around using that dirty locker. Get used to it. We're spies and we need to deal with interesting things. This isn't your normal high school. Just like the cool laser guns we are about to show you right now. Laser guns? All right. Let's show her why only the top spies can graduate from this academy. I would love to. <laughs> so, wanna try? I don't know. Guns kinda scare me. You're a coward. I still can't understand how a legend like Rosie could have a daughter like you. Is that so? Give me that stupid gun. I'll show you that I'm not a wimp at all. You've got yourself a challenge. My mommy would be proud of me. Right on. Show us what you're made of. But please don't hurt yourself or anyone here. And try not to shoot your own foot. No need to worry. Oh no, there seems to be an emergency at our we school. We have to go upstairs and see what's happening. Upstairs? <gasps> <laughs> You thought you could police the whole world, but this time you won't get away with it. I'll get to school before you, and no one will save you. I'm coming for you, Rosie. You better watch out. <laughs> so, what's our next subject? I have no idea. Good afternoon, and who the heck are you? Hi there, guys. I'll be your new teacher. 
A new teacher? We are usually notified if the staff changes. And you really don't look anything like a regular spy. Oh, just relax. I have all of the paperwork to prove I'm a real spy. So stop worrying about that too much, guys. She's right. Her paperwork seems legit to me, girls. Then we're sorry for not trusting you, ma'am. It's okay, guys. It's no biggie. You're just trainees after all. So then why did the alarm go off? Maybe the system spotted some kind of danger? Oh, but there's no danger at all. I just sounded the alarm on purpose to bring all of you guys upstairs with me. What? Uh, and I don't know my way around the school, so you need to show me all of the corners and hiding spots this place has. But, Mrs... Uh... Sophie. Miss Sophie, we are really not allowed to reveal where all the secret rooms are. Yes, because it violates the laws of our school. But I'm not a random visitor. I'm your new teacher, guys. And I will be teaching you the basics of stealth. So even if you don't want to, you better tell me all about it right now, newbies. We don't even have that kind of discipline. All right, now you'll have it. And you just got yourselves a pop quiz now. Quiz? We're usually notified if we're having a test. But not anymore. All right, enough talking. Tell me where the secret room is located. I don't think we should answer that. Of course we don't. But she's our teacher, so I guess we should listen to her and answer all of her questions. Being honest, I don't think that's a good idea at all. Well, that makes two of us. Spill the beans already. I'm aware that the target has escaped. Make sure the press doesn't find out about this for now. Regular people are not ready for this kind of news. Yes, I know she's incredibly dangerous and we're doing everything we can to stop her. Hold on a second. I'll call you back. Oh no, she's already at the school. I need to reinforce security now. It's not working. The system has been hacked. Oh, Rosie, pick up. This is Marquisa calling. Over. I'll have to send her a telepathic message again. I have to catch that woman soon before she lays a hand on my daughter. Ah! It seems she's at the school. Oh no, not this again. Oh, I hope I can make it. Not only the fate of the world is in my hands. And also my daughter's. Don't worry, sweet Emma. Mommy is coming to the rescue. I don't like this at all, girls. That teacher, Sophie, just gives me the creeps. We have no other choice. I don't think this woman is a threat to us. And she's our new teacher after all. But listen, why would she want all that information out of the blue like that? I don't know, but you guys are spies. You should be able to tell if someone is lying to you or not. I'm sorry, Emma. It's not like we have a lying detector on our cell phones. Just cut us some slack. We're students, remember? Yes, I thought this was the best spy school ever. Oh, so there you are. That's great. I wish we could say the same about you. I've been going through your notes, and now I know where the secret room is, guys. Oh no, sounds like we're in a lot of trouble. Looks like someone just wrote some gibberish. I don't recommend you to do that. Dang it, it didn't work out. So if she found out where the secret room is located, that's no good, right? Yeah, it's not good. No one but us should know about it. Alright, so are we teleporting to the secret room now? And you'll show me all of the cool spy gear you have there? Sure thing. Oh wow, you even have one of these. I never thought young spies could have access to these babies. You're a little weird, ma'am, and that scares me. Don't worry, she's different. Maybe she's from out of town. Yeah, she's a bit of a weirdo, all right. This whole thing feels fishy to me. Why did we bring her down here? <laughs> Looks like we have a genius here. You guys have everything a spy could possibly need and even more. What? You guys are idiots. Haven't you fools realized I'm not who I am claiming to be from the start? I told you so, guys. And what do you mean by that? Now to trust strangers. Ah! Oh, this can't be happening. And this is all because of you, little Emma. You're the one I hate the most. 
What have I ever done to you? It was your dumb mom who prevented me from getting a powerful chip. With that, I could have taken over the world. I guess she did the right thing, because you are a wacko. Is that so? Then you're going down first, sweetie. Ooh! Hold it right there. Not so fast. Keep that nasty gun away from my baby daughter. Oh boy, the legend is in her academy. Rosie, I can't believe my eyes. Mom? Oh, this is so sweet. So you've decided to stand up for your daughter? It's gonna be a family beating, I guess. Feels like it's been ages since I put you to sleep like a big baby with my spy dust. <laughs> what are you talking about? I totally let you win that time. I just tripped and fell. <gasps> and now it's payback time. You and your daughter are done. No, don't do it, please. Please don't hurt Mrs. Rosie. Keep your hands off my mom. And now it's time to finally settle the score. <sighs> Uh, uh, what? No, not the spy dust! Again... Huh, this is what you get. I just hope the CIA locks you for good this time. Oh, wow, that's great! Not every day you get to see a real villain up close. Mom, are you going to tell me what the heck is going on here? Uh, Mrs. Rosie, can I have your autograph, please? Please, please, please! Okay, kids, but first we gotta get out of here fast. Wow, I used to attend this very same school too. Ah, oh, what a wonderful time. I can't believe that a spy legend studied at this very school. I hope I'm sitting at her desk. And I hope I'm using her former locker. So listen, Mrs. Rosie, when are you going to give us your autograph? Oh, I don't think so, honey. I'm not a rock star to be doing that. Mom, enough of this lame circus. Maybe you should tell me who you really are for once. You still don't get it. She's a spy. I'm the best in the whole wide world. Oh, well, that's a lot, but thank you. There's nothing to thank us for. It's nothing but the truth. I have known you since I was a little girl. How can you possibly be some spy? You are a fashion designer. She, she is a spy! A spy. Uh, listen, daughter, we really need to have a word, but we'll do it at home. So you're telling me I won't be staying at this school after all, right? That's the best news I've had today. Well, that's up to you, honey. Come on, Emma, please stay here. You know you had a blast here, girl. And we can teach you more secret agent stuff. So you guys are suggesting that I should become a spy? But you already are a spy. Mm. So then tell me, Emma, are you staying? Mm, I don't know. <sighs> Emma, just think about it. Your fate depends on it, sweetheart. And not only yours, we're all counting on you. Mm. Well, I guess I'll stay at this dumb spy school. Hooray! All right, come on, enough. Emma, I promise you, you will not regret the choice you made. Uh, okay, now we'll be heading back home, darling. Are you coming? Let's go home. Not leaving so soon, are you? Oh no, uh, Max? Daddy! And who is that? Why do people show up at our school like a train station? What do you mean by that? I'm not a stranger. What? And how did you get here? How did you know where to find us, honey? Dad, are you also a spy and you didn't tell me about it like mom? Typical. Mm, are you a spy? In a way, you could say that I am, honey. I've been spying on you for the last 20 years. But that doesn't mean you are a real spy, darling. In fact, the only reason I married you was to find out hidden information about you, Rosie. Hey, Max, tell me, is this a joke? Uh, you're a little bit upset now, and we're gonna go home. Well, no, I'm dead serious. Hiya! <gasps> What's going on? I don't know. Guys, back her up. Just do something now. We still don't know how to engage in combat. Yes, we don't know how to deal with a spy who has been training for so long. Then I'm going to take matters into my own hands. Yeah! Ah! Uh, sweetheart? What's wrong, Mom? I'm in total shock. Those were some killer moves. So what, Mom? Are you proud of me now? <laughs> I have always been proud of you, Cupcake. 
They are so cute. So cute. What? Why am I here again? Think, think. What was the last thing that happened to you? Uh, what? No, no, not the spy, spy dust. dust again. Oh no, I can't believe she beat me up using that stupid dust again. I'm getting tired of all this spy stuff. But it's okay, one of these days I'll get my hands on that ship and the whole world will be finally at my feet. And everyone will be begging me for mercy. Cause being the villain sucks. That little girl grew up and looks like her dumb mother. But just wait and their luck will run out. I won't be staying here for long. Sooner or later, I'm getting my revenge. Uh, daughter, I made your favorite honey pancakes. Mm-hmm. Mm, extra honey. Mm-hmm. Hmm, why the long face, baby? I thought we were over being mean all the time. Sure, mom. We can pretend that everything is fine now and that you didn't hide from me that you are a spy. You know I did it to protect you, darling. Well, I understand that. Mm, sweetie, try to understand. I didn't want you to be in any serious danger. So you had to lie to me? I guess I didn't, but now I know what it feels like to be living in a complete lie. And tell me, mom, do you like it? Um, not really. So I'm asking you for the last time. Why did you have to lie to me like that? Uh, because I only wanted you to be safe. Uh, especially after the last fights I had, honey. <sighs> what? No, not the spy dust. Again. As you can see, the danger managed to find me anyways, so there was no point in lying to me. Ah, uh, yes, I'm sorry, I've realized my mistake. Apologize are no longer enough, now you're going to have to get me my favorite knickknacks for a whole month. <laughs> That's a deal. Uh, hello, did I miss anything? Mom? What is he doing here? I don't know. I I came here to apologize and and can I come back home please? Yeah. yeah. Uh, stop, stop, stop. I give up. <laughs> Another successful mission. The day started well. Director Mason, mission is accomplished. Awesome, Agent 47. I'll come back to base for a new assignment. Roger that. And you. I hope you like prison food, because you're getting lots of it. Why are we still here, girls? Our teacher took the day off, obviously. <gasps> I knew I should have stayed home getting some more sleep. Guys, maybe the teacher just overslept today. Let's just wait for him. <laughs> Feel free to wait by yourself, because I'm getting a coffee. Wait for me. If the teacher gets here and you're gone, I'm not giving you guys my notes. <sighs> Congratulations, Ethan, on another successful task. How many have you racked up? Mm, like a hundred. Awesome, Ethan. The next one will be difficult, though. So better bring your A-game, Paul. Director Mason, you know there's no mission impossible for this Ethan hunt. That's what I thought. And that's what I'm giving this assignment to you, Ethan. You are going to a college. College? Yes, Ethan, college. Excuse me, Director Mason, but can't I go somewhere else? Nope, Ethan, I need my best man here. I don't have the best memories from my time in college. Ethan, you're the only agent here who can pull this off. Take, these are the documents, and you'll be briefed by Emma. Hello. She is or feel analytical. I'm so delighted to finally meet you, Ethan. You're so cool. Emma, just get to the point. Uh, yeah, I'm sorry. Listen, Someone at school came up with stealing people's laughter. People's laughter? Hmm. How could they do that? Listen, let's say that he's at school and suddenly a joke. Listen, son, what do you call a fake noodle and an impasta? <laughs> okay, it's a really bad example, but let's just see. This is a regular person's brain and this is a teacher's. As you can see, there's a cerebellum here and this one doesn't have one at all. Wait, so that's why he doesn't laugh at all? Yeah, and he can't remember a thing. So we don't know who's behind this. 
And that's why I'm sending you to college to stop whoever did this to Don't him. worry, director. I'll save the rest of the teachers so they can start laughing again. All right, Emma will be joining you. Um, wait, no, I'm a one-man army. It's out of discussion. Believe me, she knows how college works and she'll help you stay undercover. Wow, I'm finally going on a real mission. Good luck. Okay, just stay out of my way. Uh, whatever. <sighs> well, I think this is my locker. Hello. Hello, uh, what are you wearing? It's a dress. Are you Wednesday Adams? Yeah, it's a regular one. Students wear dresses. What were you thinking? You're gonna blow her cover. I thought it was normal, that's it. You don't. Now get changed. Come on. Um, I thought you'd like it. <laughs> <laughs> nice reflexes on you, thank you. Hey, who the heck are you? Hi everyone, I'm Emma. I'm a new student. <sighs> Keep a low profile, ding it. <laughs> Great style, I'm digging it. <laughs> Thank you. Hey, Neo, why don't you tell us your name? Uh, I'm Ethan. I am Kevin. This is Brittany and Layla. And those nerds over there are Sam and Susie. I told you I don't like the word nerd, Kevin. And why do you think I even care, you nerd? <laughs> oh, looks like I've dropped all my things again. Oh, my God. <laughs> Let me help you out. Thank you. You're always tripping like an idiot, Susie. It seems fun. I like it here. We would like to show you around. Come on. Let her do it, ma'am. I can already see you're a cool guy. Let her pick her own mess. Hey, are you nuts or what? Oops, oops. It's going to get ugly. Hey, I thought you were cool. A normal guy who could be my friend. But I guess I was wrong. Thank you for helping me out, but you really shouldn't do it or you can get in trouble. Don't mention it. I hate it when nerds get picked on. It makes me angry. It seems to me that you're not a nerd at all. That's because I used to be... My brother got hurt because he liked comic books. He was a genius too. Oh, now I get it. Uh, Susie, I really wanted to stand up for you too, but... But what? M my glasses fell off. For real? Ethan, look, I got my first nice grade. I told you to keep a low profile. What is that? What? You start explaining and talking about quantum physics, even the teacher got a headache. What's the problem? I thought everyone knew that. You're causing a lot of problems, Rookie. I'm sorry, I'm not gonna do it again. What have you found? Yeah, they have really tasty desserts at the cafe. <sighs> Are you dumb? Did you forget why we're here? No, not at all. Then start focusing, Rookie. <gasps> Oh, sorry, I didn't see it's you. It's okay. I did not see you again. Hey, just apologize. Or else... Or you'll see. Oh, I'm so scared now. Ooh, Brittany, I think I wet my shorts. You're begging for it. Ethan, go ahead, show him. Yes, Ethan, show me. <laughs> I think the tall boy's scared. Keep running, chicken. Ethan! <laughs> 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 These croissants are great. Hey, Ethan, what just happened there? Why didn't you stand up for me? Emma, shut up. They were mocking you. So what? You could have defended yourself. Yeah! We're keeping a low profile. Besides, I told you already, we are supposed to act like normal teenagers. But we're not normal teenagers. We're spies. Silence. No one must know about it. Okay, I'm sorry. Susie, what's so funny? <laughs> Let me see. Ethan has been texting me. That guy is so funny. Oh, yeah, that was fast. What a jerk. Are you even listening? You told me you wanted to know about this. Oh, uh, yeah, let's hear it. Kevin is a bully, and as you know, these are the nerds. And this is Layla. She's a really nice girl who showed me the clothing store. The clothes are really good there. <clears throat> Sorry. We should keep an eye on Kevin. I don't like him at all. What? This silly athlete? He can't think of anything except adding sausages into a bread. Well, uh, any other ideas? We have to watch all of the nerds. I have a hunch that maybe they have something to do with this. No, wait. Let's check out this, guys. I really think they can't be trusted. 
Uh, what about your girlfriend Layla? No, I'm sure she wouldn't do this. She's cool and kind, but they're not. I'm telling you, it is the nerds. Oh, okay, I'll keep an eye on the nerds, and you keep an eye on the jocks. You should go see Kevin. I couldn't possibly fight him. No, I'm sure you do just fine, rookie. Wait, don't go. I want to show you something. Hold on. What is it? Our department's new toys are here. Oh, now we're talking. Yeah, this pen is really useful because it shoots some sleeping darts. Yeah, right. And up next. Is it just chowing gum? No, of course it's not. If you stick that on a lock, it'll burst open. And these are some glasses with a camera on them. Hmm. Great stuff. <gasps> oh, Emma, sit here with me. Um, listen, Layla, I'd like to ask you a quick question. A question? Yeah, it's simple. Kevin, do you happen to know him? Mm, yeah. But why do you like him? Me like him? Yeah, you could say so. And what exactly do you want to know? Well, you haven't noticed anything weird about him lately? Weird? Well, not at all. He skips classes, only cares about sports, and sometimes makes fun of the nerds. Um, maybe he said something? Maybe a secret? Mm, no, nothing like that. He doesn't hide anything from us. Layla, are you leaving? I, I just remember that I have to go and do something. <laughs> Oh, sorry, I didn't see it. It's okay, it happens to me like all the time. Oh, that one's my favorite book. What? Really? Mine too. I've read it about ten times. <laughs> that makes two of us. <laughs> Susie, so are you coming? Yes, Sam. I'm sorry, Ethan, but I have to go now. <laughs> Listen, Susie, would you like to go out with me tonight? Me? Of course, of course I would love to. But I have to go home first and change. All right, see you later. See you soon. See you soon. <sighs> Kevin, that new girl is getting kind of suspicious. How so? She's been asking about you, about some weird secret. I hope you kept your mouth totally shut. We can't have her noising around. Of course I didn't tell her a thing. Okay, that's fine. Mm, they're acting pretty weird. I should follow them and investigate this. Come on, are you thinking of going out with him? Well, yeah, so what? I don't think it's a good idea. Usually guys like him don't tend to hang out with people like us. What do you mean like us? Susie, you and I are poor, nerdy, weird, and he has some canned vibes. Why would he want to hang out with you? Why are you so angry? Maybe he's just a nice guy. He's not just asking you out. He wants something from you, and once he finally gets it, he's going to leave you alone. You're going to be sad, you're going to cry, and you'll be heartbroken. Sam, what can he possibly want from me? I have nothing at all. Susie, you're the smartest girl in town. Do the math. Maybe he just wants to cheat on her test or some homework. <gasps> so I guess that's why he's asking me out tonight. Yeah. It's all part of his plan. Come on, Sam, that's enough. I'm not a little girl, and I don't need any love advice from a guy like you. Don't say I didn't warn you, Susie. <laughs> Are you sure you checked? Are we alone? That's right, Kevin. Come on, just stop hiding. <sighs> oh, okay, great. We better hurry now. What are these two planning? Stay right there where you are! What are you doing? This is not what it looks like. Kevin, could you be more careful next time? Layla, she was on to us. What were you doing? Have you been following us around? No, I'm just here to see what's going on. So just tell me what's going on. It's okay. I just wanted to learn a few dance steps. I have two left feet. You fool, that's nothing to be ashamed of. Ah. Um, so you're teaching her how to dance and... Well, why are you hiding like that? He thinks if anyone finds out, it would ruin his reputation as a tough guy. Everyone thinks I'm strong and tough. And tough guys shouldn't dance, because that's only for girls and losers. Oh, well, that's great. I think it's nice you're learning how to dance. Yeah? But please don't tell anyone here, just don't. Okay, okay, I promise. Mm, mind if you go now? I'm a bit embarrassed. Mm, they can be crossed out of my list. Let's go see Brittany now. Oh, Susie, here you are. Did I keep you waiting? 
Relax, just have a seat. It's a bit chilly. I'd like some hot tea, please. I already ordered one for you. Thank you. Listen, Ethan, it's great that you're studying here now, but I wanted to ask you something. Um, why were you transferred here? Uh, well, why was I transferred? My parents and I moved to the city and I had to, like, find a new college. Oh, I get it. Brittany, hi, what are you doing? Uh, I'm not doing anything, what do you want? Okay, then why are you hiding something? That's none of your business, it's something personal, now leave me alone. Mm, that's a little suspicious, I wonder what she was hiding. Ooh, hey, you really scared me. What are you hiding there? Mind your own business, and why are you acting so weird? Isn't that Kevin's locker? Move away! No! A love letter? Is this where you were hiding? Well, yeah, you discovered me. Go and tell everyone. Why were you hiding this from me? I didn't want anyone to find out I have a crush on Kevin. Why are you making it complicated? I don't know, it's just how I am. You're weird. Of course, coming from the girl who's been following me like a detective. Alright, I won't tell anyone, I promise. Well, thank you. <laughs> What is this guy doing? <sighs> hmm. What's wrong with you? Where were you? And what do you care, mom? I know that you were with Zuzi at the cafe. So why are you asking me? You're lying while I am running to watch over everyone and you're just resting? Easy with your scolding. I've been working really hard too. Alright, then what did you find out? <sighs> that the girl I like loves roses and also the pale violet. Listen, uh, do you know where I can get violet roses? Ethan, some roses? We're on a mission here. I know that, just calm down. <sighs> well, at least I figured something out. And that is? Layla's teaching Kevin how to dance and Brittany's in love with Kevin but she's afraid to tell him. <sighs> and how does that help us? This ain't a Netflix drama. Now we know for sure that they're innocent. We just need to check on the nerds. And what makes you think they might be to blame? Because I've been watching them all day and I didn't notice anything weird about them. It's not fair to draw conclusions based on that. Or you're just protecting Susie and that's <sighs> it. I was hanging out with her. Alright, then we're gonna have to check on Sam. Yeah, I didn't like that guy from the moment I saw that's him. That's what you said about Kevin before. Kevin's still on my watch list. Tomorrow we're gonna check on Sam. Hello, do you shop here too? Hey, what are you doing? Ah! Emma, wake up! Don't come near it, no karate! Oh, you're Ethan, uh, what do you want? Wake up already, it's getting late for class. I'm sorry, I lied awake without sleeping. Come on, I'll be waiting for you out here. <laughs> Listen, he turns around and sees his new car covered in raw eggs. <laughs> please, please stop it. <laughs> Layla, come on, don't you think that episode was hilarious? Uh, no. <laughs> Strange. Hmm. <laughs> Hello, my friend, is something the matter? Hello, and uh, no. Listen, do you want to hear a joke? <laughs> Go ahead. Listen, son, what do you call a fig noodle and a pasta? <laughs> 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 that was a good one, Kevin. <laughs> it was. <laughs> Layla, why aren't you laughing? It's not funny. <laughs> no, not her. Ethan, there's a problem. Layla. Why Layla? She's been robbed of her laughter. <laughs> <laughs> Are you sure? Well, yeah, I just saw it. I didn't tell her any lame jokes. Of course not. Then we need to hurry and find out who did it before everyone loses their laughter. Hello, Susie. Hello, Ethan. Um, where's your nerdy friend? Sam? Oh, I still don't know where he is. Hmm. He could be the one that we're looking for. I didn't follow either of them yesterday, and Layla's like that today. I agree. This guy is pretty suspicious. We have to find him. How? I placed a tracking chip on the guy's phones. Let's see where he is. <sighs> I don't get what she sees in him. I'm a lot smarter than Ethan. I'm sure he's a complete fool. Huh. Busted. 
tell us what are you doing? Uh, why were you guys looking for me? You're really asking? Don't you happen to be ashamed? Oh, I didn't mean to steal anything. Seriously, this is a misunderstanding. And who told you we thought you wanted to steal something? Uh, because that's what it looks like. Restrain him, Emma. What if you do it? <sighs> oh, so you want to exercise too? Come on, I won't make fun of you. <gasps> hey, what are you doing? Ah! That was fast, Agent Hunt. Well done. Thank you, Director Mason, but it wasn't an easy task at all. Ethan, I was 100% confident in you, and you even teach the rookie. You bet I did. She stayed out of my way. You know I work much better alone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, take a few days off, and I'll see you soon. Hey, guys, if this is some kind of sick joke, it's not funny at all. Let me out of here already. What am I doing in this place? Oh, you'll be here for quite some time. How so? This is the place where criminals get to hang out. But what criminals? Are you not? I have never broken a single law in my life. I can totally explain why I snuck into your bathroom. Oh, I can't listen to any of this. Take care of him for a while. I'll go with Susie to say goodbye. <sighs> Emma, come on, just listen to me. Sam, we know all that. What do you guys know? Stop talking in riddles all the time. I don't get what's going on. If you told me where the device that you created is, I might be able to help you. I could negotiate with the judge. I just don't get it. I'm sorry, Emma. I didn't know they punished people for something so small. Small? Yes, the little robot I made is a homework assignment. What robot are you talking about? I mean, the device that took the laughter away. But that's not possible. A laugh stealer? Yeah, the laughter. I didn't steal anything. How can I steal someone's laughter? Oh, come on. Just say so. This will be easier. Emma, I don't know what you're talking about. But please let me out of here. I didn't steal anything from anyone. Then why did you sneak into that room? I just wanted to get even. Susie was paying too much attention to him. And I didn't like that. And I wanted a little payback. So it wasn't you? Of course not. That's what I've been trying to say to you guys. Ethan! Hey, let me out of here! Ethan! Oh, Emma, will you help me pack my stuff? I have to say goodbye to Susie later. Hold on. <sighs> Too bad, our secret mission ended so quickly. Listen to me for a second. We have the wrong bad guy. What are you trying to say? Sam is not guilty at all. But you said it all made complete sense. Layla, then he's knocked into my room. But that's not why he's naked into the room. What do you mean? That doesn't matter, Ethan. We have to go back to school. Just give me one second to say goodbye to Susie. Ethan, why don't you ever listen to me? <sighs> She's not here. Listen, Brittany, Susie, have you seen her? No. Oh, well, I'll just keep looking. Hold on, you're not noticing anything weird about her? Like what? Take a good look. Britney's not laughing. So was Sam right? Emma, we got the wrong guy. Wow, go, Sherlock. You're a genius. Okay, you deal with this too while I look for Susie. She could be in danger right now. Hold on, Ethan. Don't you get it? If Sam is so far away and they're here, then who is missing? Kevin, I always knew it. Obviously, it cannot be Kevin's work. He's got the IQ of a worm. No freaking way. So the only option left is... The only one left who could have done this to your school is none other than stupid Kevin. No one else is capable of doing something so ugly and dark. If you're saying it's Kevin, then he cannot possibly be that stupid. Don't tell me it doesn't make sense. Susie is sweet. She wouldn't hurt a fly. And you be more careful. You said it was Sam. But there's no other option. Just stop arguing the only professional spy here is me. And you are a rookie. So you better stay in your lane for once. Enough talk. Let's wrap this case and be gone. Kevin is our suspect. <sighs> Get off me! I'll do it when you calm down a bit! Susie? What the hell are you doing to him? Ethan, I'm glad you're here! That crazy girl attacked me out of nowhere! Kevin wanted to kidnap me and do some weird stuff to me. I knew it. No need to worry now, Susie. Well, you two are crazy, so... Uh, uh. <laughs> that will knock him for a while. Hmm, what an interesting gadget. Be careful handling that thing, Susie. <laughs> oh. oh, Ethan, I really would have loved to be your girlfriend. Oh, so you've finally come to take me out of here? You can come out. Well... 
thank you. And who the heck are you guys? We're spies. Spies? Well, yeah, we went to your school to catch someone incognito. We've got a criminal in college. Yeah, laughters are being stolen from people, and Ethan is not even listening to me. <laughs> a laughing stealer? No freaking way! What? Do you know something? Sam, please help me out. You know so much more about this stuff than I do. I don't get it. What do you want this time? Can you have a quick look at my laptop? It's dead. Okay. And that's when I saw it. I knew it was her, and Ethan wouldn't even listen. We have to find him. <sighs> Susie, what's going on? Why am I tied up? Oh, Ethan, you're finally awake. I guess you are in luck tonight. You are about to experience the full power of my new and great invention. Is it you? But why the heck? Nicely done. I trust you, Susie. What the hell? Are you interested in knowing why I did it, or do you just want to buy some time? Okay, no one is coming over to save you, darling. So we can talk a little. I know how to find him. I know where they are, come on! Alright, I'll tell you now. Do you know what it's like to be made fun of all the time just because I'm a little bit different? Do you think it's hilarious to make fun of others? Come on, be honest right now. Do you think it's funny? Come on, I want to hear an answer! No, Susie, I know that you've been through. I was made fun of too. Just look at you. You're so handsome and strong. I wasn't. I'm telling you the truth now. And guess what, honey? I don't care. At first, I was scared when I found out you guys were spies. I was so afraid you could actually mess up my evil plans. Susie, this has to stop right now. Just let me go at once. No, Ethan. You can't stop me anymore. It's too late. Now nobody will laugh at me ever again because they won't be able to laugh at all. <laughs> <laughs> what the? Sam, come on, you're a traitor! Stop it, Susie. Hey, don't move or your friend will suffer the nasty consequences like the others. Susie, just let him go. Sam, you nasty traitor. I did this for us, for people like us. Susie, that doesn't make sense. They could never make fun of us again, Sam. Sweet dreams. <gasps> <laughs> All right, we do have our bad guy now. I own you an apology. Nicely done. When I get out of here, I swear I'll kick you in the face. I like to see you try. Ethan, would you like to go out on that date? <laughs> Don't even think about it. Emma, I still have to thank you. Without you, I wouldn't have caught her. Oh, really? Of course, in addition to the fact that we make a good team. Oh, yeah, let's go, pal. <laughs> hey, come on! You can't leave at this moment! You are going to pay for this! <laughs> I'm ben, I've had enough of your nonsense. I have to wash my freaking hair and get ready for school. Emma, I can't hear you over my lyrics. La la la. <laughs> Just open the stupid door or I'll kick it down myself. Little Emma, this is my sweet payback because you're always making me late. La la la. Ben, listen to me. I'll tell all the guys at school that you take an hour to wash your pretty face. Daughter, what the heck's wrong? Why are you screaming like a rolling stone? Because I have to wash my hair and Ben is taking forever. He refuses to leave the bathroom. Ben, son, get out of there. Your sister needs to wash her hair. You better get out of there right now. Ben, can you hear me, boy? But what the heck is this freaking circus? This is my only day off, for God's sake. Mom, it's Ben's fault. He doesn't want to come out. I don't care which one of you is to blame for all the yelling. Um, honey, take it easy. Go get some rest. I'll take care of this, babe. I don't want to hear one more scream, you get it? Uh, why are you all gathered here? Is there something wrong? Ben, are you serious? I've been waiting for you to come out for the past hour. Um, children, please stop fighting. Let's go have some breakfast. I'm finally squeaky clean and ready to start a new day. I have to wash my hair now and be late because of you.
I really hope you learned a lesson, Emma. Go to hell now! What is wrong with those two brats? Honey, breakfast is finally ready. It's 8 o'clock. Don't you want to get up? Oh, Ethan, I'll decide when to leave this bed for myself. I've been hearing those awful screams like all night long. Now leave me alone. As you say, my dear, I only wanted to help you out. Better make me a cup of coffee. As you wish, my dear. <laughs> this tasty breakfast is finally ready. Ah, now I'll make that cup of coffee for my dear wife. Ah, a big cup of coffee for my dear Violetta. Dot, what are we having for breakfast today? I made your favorite cereal with almond milk. Hooray! Oh, great. I appreciate it, Bang. You used all of the shower's hot water, you jerk. That's not my problem. You should have gotten up earlier. Shut up! Children, that's enough. Bon appetit now. Thank, Thank you, you, Dad. Dad. Where is my coffee? Uh, here, my dear. Dark and bitter, like your soul. It better be sour. Good morning, Mom. What are you planning today, honey? Uh, being completely honest, I have an important work meeting later. And I'm going to school first, and then to Sophie's to work on a science project. Um, Zach will pick me up, then we'll go for a cup of coffee, and then to class, I guess. Uh, have a wonderful day, guys. I'll be doing some boring ass work. If anyone here is interested. Okay, Dad, I have to go. In just a few minutes, Zach will be here to pick me up. Uh, I'm leaving too. Thanks, Dad. I have some stuff to do too, babe. Oh, I think I should hire some sort of maid. I'm starting to get tired of this housework. Uh, maybe there's a nut in the newspaper. Well. I have to buy some makeup soon and a new lipstick. Who could be texting me now? Oh no, I just wanted to take a day off. I wanted to be with my family. Okay, I'll just take a look at my email, but it will definitely be one little peek. Be careful, everyone! A very dangerous teen criminal that goes by the name of Susie has broken out of jail. She is a complete threat to everyone in our beloved city. So please stay alert and if you see her roaming the streets, don't hesitate to call the police. Uh, I was supposed to have a quiet and relaxing day here at home. Now I have to take care of this rascal. Dear Violetta, I know we promised you that we wouldn't bother you over some nonsense. But you must understand, a task like this can only be accomplished by a seasoned agent like you. You know her well. You imprisoned her once, so you're aware how dangerous she can really be. This will be your last task before you're officially retired. We must get ahead of our rival agencies and stop this criminal once and for all. Honestly, I wouldn't mind taking care of this. I'm quite fed up with this whole family routine. It's great to be back in action, guys. Alright, time for some fun. <laughs> let it go, let it go. Uh, my dear wife is coming soon and we are going to watch a nice movie. Hmm. Maybe she's going to be late and she's giving me the heads up. Oh no, I know this number very well. So they finally found me. Okay, let's see what they want this time. Agent Ethan, we understand that your retirement was over a year ago, but we are in need of your assistance. All agencies are currently working on this priority case, and without you we won't come out on top. We sent you a picture of the criminal to your phone. And since you have already tried to catch her, we hope this case might interest you. Mm -hmm. Please, you must help us take care of this matter. We simply cannot do it with your help. Yes, I have to quit the husband routine for a couple of days. I need to catch that dangerous criminal and keep my family from noticing a thing. Honey, I wanted to ask you, what do your parents do for a living? 
How so? What kind of question is that? Well, it's just that you have a big fancy house and I'm a bit curious. Well, actually my mom owns a nice beauty salon and dad does all of the housework. Yes, yes. We have a very regular family, dude. Well, that's weird. You guys seem so wealthy. Well, I don't know. Mm, perhaps they work for a secret spy organization? Yeah, of course. Hello, Ben. Uh, hi, Sophie. Did you have some fun this weekend, Ben? It was good. Thank you so much for asking. Do you remember that we have work on a little science project after school hours? Yes, I do. You come over to my house and we'll get started in no time, Sophie. Super, I'll be there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure I can eat the lips here and I'll give him a little present. He has quite an amazing crib. Just hurry up, I don't have a freaking day for this. Looks like the kids are back from school. I'm coming. pizza for you but I didn't order any pizza lady your address is in the order please sign right here I think I've seen you before young lady of course you have written Ethan long time no see uh, how did you know where I live that's supposed to be classified information that was a piece of cake for someone like me I can hack bank accounts so I guess that information wasn't so classified after all oh. okay so this is how you want to play too bad I didn't come here to play put your hands up Ethan now you'll understand what it's like to be in jail <laughs> I guess you forgot what I'm capable of little Susie I was just getting started <sighs> <coughs> <coughs> you better get ready for what's coming. <coughs> Come on in, guys. Dad must be home already. I'm sure he has made a nice dinner. Uh, I've been starving all day. Our old man makes the greatest steaks. You're not gonna believe it. Oh my god, you guys live in a freaking palace. Um, ben, why is the door unlocked like that? I don't know, dummy. I was only in school just like you. That's weird. My parents always lock all the doors. Oh, jeez. The living room is a complete mess. What on earth happened here? I don't know. I'm also in shock. Yep, me too. Mom, Dad, we're home. Is anyone around here? Okay, guys, I don't care about your folks. I'm really hungry now. Well, let's go to the kitchen so you can grab a bite. I'll go with Sophie to the living room. I need to call Dad. Okay, I'll call Mom then. Okay. This is weird. From what I see, Dad was making some dinner and something got his attention. This smells fishy. Well, is there something to eat or not? Well, I could give you some tea and raisin cookies. Okay, that'll be fine. I have a better idea. I'll call Mom and she's gonna take care of everything. Even better, honey. <laughs> That's weird. She's not answering. Maybe she's kind of busy? She's not. She always answers her phone. Something must be off. Well, I don't know. Try to reach her again in five. Well, I'll do that. <laughs> so, Ben, shall we get started with the project? Let's do it. But first, I have to call my father real quick. <sighs> my cell phone. Yes, champ, what's up? Dad, hi, why aren't you at home right now? I went out to get groceries. But our fridge is full. 
<sighs> we run out of toilet paper. Okay, uh, what about mom? She was going to the salon and then to the movies. Hasn't she arrived? No. Okay, thanks, son. I'll be there soon. Well, is everything all right? Um, he sounded weird, but yes. Ben, what's happening? Mom is not answering her phone. Uh, but I just talked to dad. And what did he say? He went out to get toilet paper. But we have plenty of paper already. That's exactly what I told him, but he said he needed like a ton more. All right. Honey, the kettle is already boiling. I'm coming, honey. Well, Ben, we'll talk about this later. We'd better calm down, Ben. Now, let's start working on our project. It's getting dark outside. All right, let's go. Uh, Violetta should be home by now. She left in the morning. And her job isn't even that far from her home. Or maybe... I was just getting started. <laughs> <laughs> Oh no, I have just not going after my dear wife. I must get to Violetta first. <laughs> I have to get a brand new outfit now. If I'm meeting my old nemesis Susie, I got to look like a cool spy. I've been waiting for ages for this moment, Jerk. Oh uh, ma'am, can I help you out with something? Mm, no, I can pick a nice dress for myself, thank you. Well, alright. <laughs> It looks like this one could do just fine. I've been waiting for ages for you. Susie, what the heck are you doing here? I was expecting you. It's been a long time since I've heard that name. I know everyone likes to call you now Little Fox. But to me, you will always be a little Susie. And I must advise you, give up right now. No, that's not happening. Then you're choosing the hard way, you little rascal. <sighs> we were part of the same team. How could you betray me like that and lock me up in jail? I thought you were my best friend and you decided to switch to the dark side. I didn't have another choice, Susie. Liar, there's always another choice. Thanks to you, I had to spend many years in that hellhole. Only you are to blame for that now. And now, I'll put you behind bars again. But you're going to a maximum security jail because you're not leaving that place in this lifetime. We'll see about that, best friend. You can't run away forever, little Susie. I'll get you anyway. Susie, do you hear me? Just give up! <sighs> Honey, I came running looking for... You? Weird. She's not here. I'll better call her. <sighs> She's not answering. This is so unlikely for her. I hope everything's okay. Well, I'll go home with the kids. I'll wait for her at home. Ben, come a little closer, please. I'm so scared now. Sophie, this movie is scared practically no one. I don't understand why you're such a crybaby. Emma, what about you? Are you scared? I'm not. I've always liked horror flicks, but this one is kind of lame. Well, it was worth trying. Ah! I think I heard some weird noises back there. What are you worried about, Sophie? My parents have probably arrived. Hello, guys. What are you doing? Um, hello, Dad. Uh, we were watching a new horror movie. It's getting late. You must go to bed. Uh, Sophie and Zach, you should go home now. Your parents must be worried sick. All right. Good night. I see you guys at school. Bye-bye. See you soon. Uh, is your mom home yet? No, we haven't heard from her. Mm -hmm. Hmm. That's weird. I'm home. Um, where were you, my dear? Mm, I was at work. But I passed by the salon and you weren't there, darling. It's because after I left the salon, I went shopping. And what did you buy this time? I just didn't find anything nice. Well, I'll go to bed now. I'm quite tired. Yeah, yeah, sure thing. Well, mom couldn't find anything of her liking at the mall. What about her dinner, dad? Uh, it's in the fridge, boy. Um, no, now tell us about that toilet paper you were getting in such a hurry, Dad. Mm-hmm. Okay, children, just shut your mouth. Go to bed now. Tomorrow is cool day. Sure, sure. We are leaving. Have a good evening, Dad. Get some rest now. Well, I mustn't forget to do something. 
good. Okay, I found it. I must erase the tapes, so no one can see the video. I don't want anyone asking questions, I have to be really careful. That was close. Come on, just catch it. I'm back, good morning. Uh, good morning. I've been thinking a lot lately. Well, tell me, I'm listening. Yesterday our parents seemed like really suspicious, Ben. Yes, I was thinking the same thing, sis. We have surveillance cameras throughout the whole house. And what do you want to do? Well, you're pretty good at fancy computer stuff, so you could hack into the security camera system, right? I don't know, maybe that won't even work. It's hard to do, so do you get it? Just give it a try, maybe we'll find something interesting. Okay. Looks like I found something weird here. Come on, I want to have a look. That is weird. We have like a really expensive security system. The cameras should be working just fine. Um, yeah, yeah. This is so weird. We have to think of something else. And we'll have to follow our parents around for a little You're while. You're right, bro. Let's just do it. So, Ben, have you come up with a way to tell our parents? I thought about it all night, but I couldn't come up with something useful. Guys, what are you doing here? Calculus class will start like any minute now. Emma, come on, let's ask the guys. Ask us what? Sure, let's go. Zach, do you like those detective movies? Well, yes, those flicks are my favorites. All right, if you wanted to tail someone in town, how would you do that? Well, I would put a surveillance camera in their car. Oh, something more fitted to her budget, 007. Yesterday, I was watching a spy movie. They actually placed a surveillance camera on a little boy's toy, and no one suspected anything, guys. Yeah, that's what I was going to say next. <laughs> <laughs> Zach, you don't have a working brain. And who are you guys tailing, super spies? My parents want to hire new cleaning staff. And why we need to increase our indoor safety. Uh, it makes sense. Okay, guys, it's time to go to class. Let's go. Let's, Let's go. go. Hmm, interesting. What is the media saying about my awesome escape? A dangerous criminal is on the run. Interesting, interesting. What? They're only offering one million dollars? I always thought they paid a lot more cash to put me behind bars. Wow, this is something way more interesting. It says Ethan's family is looking for a new maid in town. This is a great opportunity to get close to those jerks and finally get rid of Ethan. <laughs> <laughs> I already have something in mind. I just hope it all works out just fine. Come, Come on, on, hurry up. Hurry up. Come on. Yeah, I got you. Okay, Emma, go on. Go get your toy now. I'm so sorry. I really suck at this game. Okay, we've made a deal and you won. I'll bring it to you now. Come on, come on, sister. I'll be here playing. Well, here it is. Go! Okay, great. Listen, our parents are outside. We'll put a hidden camera in the hallway so no one will suspect anything. That's a great idea. And have you ordered that camera yet? <laughs> I did it at school. It's been right in front of you, sister. How so? I can't see any cameras here. Just look more closely, Emma. Stop joking around. I really can't see anything. I have it right here, dummy. Wow, what a tiny little camera. It's because it is special so that no one can see it. Mm, yeah, I know. Now we just need to place it inside this toy here. And that's what I'm about to do. Mm, okay, genius. And how can we see the videos from this camera? Little Emma, it's nanotechnology. This is connected to your smartphone. It uses a special app video and it is cast directly to your phone. Mm, please show me. I've never seen anything like that before. Check it out. I'll make a video and I'll get it on my cell phone. <sighs> Look at this. Mm, that 
That's great. Here it is. Okay, time to hide this tiny camera in the hallway. Yeah, let's do it. <sighs> <laughs> the camera. I'm okay, Ben. Where do we have that freaking camera? Let's do it facing the main door so we can totally see who enters and leaves the house. Of course, you're so smart, bro. Yep, I know. Guys, I need to have a word with you right now. Please come to the kitchen. I'll be waiting for you down here. <laughs> yes, Dad, we're here. Um, what do you want? Honey, did you call us? Yes, my dear. Sit down, I'll just power some tea. And then I'll tell you about something important. Sure, sure thing. thing. Mm, just hurry up, hon. I still have like a ton of things to do today. I have made a serious decision. I wonder what happened. Now I'll start in a new job, so I'm hiring a maid for you guys. Mm, plot twist. I place an ad in the paper and someone reached out to me. She's coming over today for an interview. Mm, okay, Dad. We'll be heading to the cafe now. Yes, we're meeting with the guys there for a while. Have fun now, guys. Ethan, uh, you didn't think to ask me about this maid? Well, as a matter of fact, I just did. Are you mad, my dear? And why did you decide to start in this new job? Because I got tired of this lame housework and I want to feel like a thought guy again. <sighs> Emma, what do you think? Is anything weird going on? I don't know, but I have the feeling we're about to get some real answers, Ben. Hello there, guys. Zach, wait up! Yes, Sophie, did you want something? I had something important to ask you. Uh, you know I have, like, the biggest crush on Ben. Yeah, I kinda noticed it. And that's it. why I wanted to ask you this. How did you confess your love feelings to Emma? Well, it was nothing. I just told her. Just like that? That's right. Now you do it, Sophie. My time has come. Yeah, yeah. so I was telling you ben! that. Ben! Yes, Sophie, I'm listening. No, hear me out. I'm done hiding my feelings for you. Well done, girl. I'm in love with you. Wow. When I said we were about to get some real answers, I really wasn't expecting something like this. So let's go on a date now, Ben. Okay, but don't eat me. Ah, that's what I wanted to hear. I'll go get ready now, babe. Well done, girl. Way to go. Zach. Did you have anything to do with that nonsense? Well, let's get back to the main topic. That girl is nuts. We need to get some answers. Honestly, I don't like the idea of you getting a job. You'll just disappear one more time and we won't even see each other. Darling, I promise you this time everything will be different. Besides, I have something to tell you. I also have something very important to tell you, honey. I... It's the maid for the interview. We'll talk later, babe. Okay, let's see if this new maid has what it takes to take care of my house. Hello, ma'am. Welcome to our home. Thank you. Uh, please let me know what is expected of me. You will have to cook every day, buy groceries and do all of the cleaning. Um, that sounds great. Um, when can I start, mister? I think that maid reminds me of someone. Let's go to the living room. I'll show you the rest of the house. Ethan, wait! I know who she is! No freaking way! What the heck are you doing here, Violetta? Wait, do you know each other? Unfortunately, we do. This is my house, Susie. Susie? Yeah, Susie! <laughs> How dare you come into my house and attack my beloved husband! I told you you would get what you had coming! Stop throwing stuff around and just give up! This time I have a secret weapon to deal with you once and for all, Violetta. This syringe will knock you out in a matter of seconds, so I'm taking you as my hostage and your family will lose their minds trying to find you. Uh, my darling, where are you? No stupid weapon can defeat me. Because I've always been in better shape than you. Oh, whoa. Unmarried to a Charlie's angel. I think I underestimated you. Looks like you did. 
check this out, my dear. But how did you... <laughs> Sweet dreams, Susie. Ethan, uh, where did you learn those moves? You used to be a simple high school teacher. That's what I wanted to talk to you about, sweetie. I guess I'm all years now. I was an undercover agent, but when I finally met you, I quit the force. I did it to protect her family. You won't believe I am also an agent. And Susie is my former colleague who decided to turn to the dark side. That's why I had to lock her up in a jail. Not bad at all. Uh, besides, this is my last mission before retiring for good. I was after her too. She's been my sworn nemesis for ages, and it was my wife who caught her. Yeah, that's just what I do. I was very interested in who she was, but it seems I never received that information from my stupid agency. Last time I was the one who arrested her, but this time I couldn't have done it without your help. So now I suggest you call your agency now and tell them we have her. Already underway. Ah, greetings, agents. I think it's time I take this nasty criminal back to prison. Where am I? Oh no! Take her away. I really hope she can't get away this time. Ugh. We'll do our best to put her behind bars forever. I can guarantee you that. You failed again, little Susie. Very good work, Ethan. I'm glad this nightmare is finally over. Mom, Dad, are you both alright? When we saw what was going on here, we just came running home. What do you mean you saw it? Because we placed a surveillance camera on the toy down the hallway. And all because your behavior was incredibly suspicious, guys. Children, uh, where did you get this camera? Well, it was an internet order. That was easy. <laughs> <laughs> In our time, it was more complicated. It is clear that they are our children. They are just as intelligent as we are, sweetie. And now, sit down on the couch. We have something to talk about. <laughs> that this is true. Is true. Mom and I used to work as agents, and for the sake of the family, we have given up that dangerous job. Dad and I were afraid that, because of what we were doing, we might get into trouble. So today, we completed the last mission. It's true, my dear. That's we. I have now decided that I will never entrust her house to anyone else. Mm, agreed. I'll just do the housework while mom takes care of the family business. We love them very much. They are the best parents of all. Who came to visit us at this hour? I don't think we were expecting anyone. Oh, I think it's for me. Hello, Ben. Hi, Sophie. I think you look great. Did you already forget about our day today? Of course not. I was just doing housework. I'll change and we'll go, alright? Super, I'll wait here. Agreed. <laughs> <laughs> alright, 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 trespassers. Now I'll catch you all. <laughs> oh, we got the money. And now comes my big entrance. I don't get it. Where are they? Cuckoo! We got you! Um, today I was late for work again. Oh, that is the boy from my new school. Oh, Violet is gonna be late again. What's taking so long? Tell us right now who you are and what you want! Girl, just tell us why you were chasing us! Confess it! Who do you work for? Enough! You better tell us right now! I can't understand you! What are you talking about? Trust me! You better tell us the truth! If you don't do what we ask, all of this will end very badly! Stop disturbing me! I don't like you touching my hair! <laughs> you seem to have very nice hair, girl! Of course! Do you know how many products I use each day? Besides of all the money! Uh, don't worry, Sophie! That is just a phone! 
You're a criminal! You must be tough! It just scared me a little. Hey, you! We are in the middle of something here. Excuse me, I think my boyfriend calls me. Well, you'll talk for 10 seconds. Hello, Ethan. Violetta? <sighs> this is my girlfriend. Brilliant. Well, where have you been? I'm waiting for you. I'm sorry, honey. I'm getting a little late. I'll finish something important and I'll be there, I swear. Okay, darling. Her name is Violetta. Mm-hmm. No, I'm so glad. Thanks, girls. Oh, hey! How did you untie your hands? Oh, no! Very easy. Mommy! What's going on? Does Detective Violetta scare you? Oh, no! Just don't attack me! This was all her idea, you know? I want to live. I have a hungry cat at home. All right. I'll see you later. <sighs> that girl is very silly. Later we'll take care of her. Well, it seems it's all over now. She took pity on both of us. <laughs> oh, I almost forgot. <laughs> Please help help us. Us. My little trick worked. Now I have to go on a date. Oh, looks like once again my date is not arriving. Um, listen, your girlfriend isn't here and your dinner got cold. Maybe I can sit down with you? Mm, well, Violetta. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's great. Don't Hello, darling. I'm sorry I'm late. Hey, girl. A terry cocktail, please. <gasps> Violetta, darling. Bon appetit. Thank you. What is she doing? Uh, have a good appetite, dear. Would you like a drink? Yeah. What a nightmare. That girl is crazy. He shouldn't be with her. Uh, why is it taking so long? Ethan, I'm all set for a movie night. Where are you? I'm sorry, Violetta. Some invited me to this house to play some soccer. <laughs> How are you, beautiful? Get away from my girl. I'm sorry, dear. I'll be there in like two hours. Well, I'll be waiting for you then. So, he's with Sam. Come on, come on, come on, come on. do it. Go down. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, it's not fair. I'll go get us something to drink. <sighs> okay, I'll be here waiting, dude. <sighs> Hello there. Hmm? Wait, where do I know you from? Ah, you were the waitress at the cafe. I'm actually Sam's sister. Oh, well, all right. I'm Ethan. I know. I've liked you for a long time. But actually, I already have a girlfriend. But she's not here now. Wait, didn't you hear me? I already have a girlfriend. You can go. Bye. Hmm. <laughs> You're a very dumb boy. It doesn't matter. Soon enough, you will be mine. All right. Now I'm going to find out if Ethan is cheating on me. Come on, boy. Just choose her. Oh, no. He gave the rose to another girl. <sighs> I just have to hear what they are talking about. A kiss. She needs to give him a kiss. What? A kiss? Are you already new? Uh huh? Violetta, what are you saying? Also, what are you doing here? I came to see who the heck you've been with. Confess it now. Are you sure she's not crazy? Just a little. Violetta. I don't understand. Are you alone with Sam? 
Of course, he had already told you. Who could she be with? Actually, Ethan, I just decided to start watching football with you. Uh -huh. Oh, really? Normally, you always say you don't like football at all. No, I want to watch football with you. Uh, I think the best thing is that Violetta doesn't watch the game with us. Yeah, right. Not a good idea. Well, I don't get it. What are you looking at? <laughs> what? Are you watching love novels? No, it's not what we're doing seriously. Love novels? <laughs> oh, really? I thought that only the girls used to see this. It's not true. Uh, listen, honey. We better go to your house to watch movies and eat some chips. Come on. It can't be. I hope she doesn't tell anyone about this. Does this spy think she got rid of us? Not at all. I can already imagine her face on the floor. That girl will now get a brand new hairstyle. We will take revenge for what she did to both of us. Very good, dear. See you later. Oh. Uh, looks like Ethan left his jacket at my house. And what the heck is this? Is it hair? Well, are you ready to take revenge on that spy for our hairstyle? Oh yeah, now we will both show her what we can do. I can't believe he did it! Oh, my arm hurts a lot. Relax. Listen to what she said. She talked about some Ethan guy. Okay, Ethan. Now I'm ready to go to your school. I won't let you cheat on me with a blonde girl anymore. I hate you. Mm. To school? Yeah, friend. It seems that we will go to school. What? Have you just lost your mind? No, we'll dress up as regular students and go study. There is no way I'm going to school. Well, then we'll run out of money. Okay, I get it now. Now that's included in our revenge plan. We will go to school. We will go to school. Emma, please, you have to help me. Stop it, Sam. Now what's your dumb idea? I just want to make Sarah get jealous. And you're going to help me, sister. <sighs> well, I don't feel like doing that. Okay, shut up. She's coming. Do it. I don't understand. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Emma, what are you doing with Sam? I don't even know. Uh, Emma asked me to help her understand a book. You will have to do it alone. You're very mean. Um, everyone at school knows I'm Sam's sister. How come Sarah can't know what's going on? She's so dumb. <sighs> well, what happened? Sarah, my dear, why are you angry? I just wanted to help Emma. I know you just wanted to help. But that annoying Emma is just waiting for you to fall for her silly tricks. <laughs> you know, I think sometimes you exaggerate everything. <gasps> what are you saying? I am always right. Uh, you have to calm down. I'll be right back. <sighs> oh, I can't stand her. That girl is very annoying. Mm. <sighs> she loves me. Why do I have to be so jealous? Sam says that I always exaggerate everything. Sarah, what are you doing? I think I can understand you. Who are you? I am Violetta. I am new in this school. Yeah, I can tell I've never seen you before. I also have a boyfriend and I think I'm really jealous. So I'm not the only one? Of course not. <sighs> Come on. Let me show you a couple of secrets that will surely help in your relationship. Well, did you understand everything? Yeah, what would I do without you? Listen, just keep calm. 
Also, you should never be aggressive. Yeah. I don't understand. Sam, you're a great guy. You will have to give me some money for this. I helped you way too much. Yeah, let's hope it works. <laughs> Sam, you're great. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it looks like there will be a scandal now. And I have a problem with math also. Could you help me? <laughs> of course, no problem. Sam, you're very kind. Sam! Keep calm, keep calm. Sarah, come join us. Emma asked me for help with a new topic. Sam is a very good teacher, just as I thought. Uh, it's unbearable! Come here, now! Don't be aggressive, Sarah! Ah, just let me go! <laughs> just calm down! Oh my god, well, that's enough! We are done! Let me go! What have I done? Yeah, my friend, that was amazing! I don't get it! Are he and I not together anymore? You know, we should go over everything! It seems that there are a few things you have to improve. Oh. Well, then, what do you think? Is it him or not? Yeah, it must be him. Oh, I really have the most beautiful girlfriend of all. Yeah, yeah it, it is, is him. him. Well, then, should we go? Let's do it. Hello there! I don't understand. Who are you, girls? I'm Susie. And that's your girlfriend in the photo, right? She's very pretty. Yes. Her name is Violetta. And who are you? Us! Do we know each other or something? I'm Sophie, and this is Susie. We are new here, and you... Uh, Ethan. I'm Ethan. It's a real pleasure to have met you. <laughs> Ethan. Well, could you explain to me what happened at the cafe? Well, I'm sorry. I didn't know that my girlfriend, my ex-girlfriend, was going to attack you suddenly. Yeah, I didn't expect that either. But now I want to understand. Why did you do that? Isn't that the opposite of your plan? <sighs> you don't have to worry, sister. I know Sarah loves me. Everything will be momentary. You want her to love you, but you decided to break up with her. I don't understand your logic. <laughs> Relax, it doesn't matter. By the way, you should also thank me. Really? Why is that? If Ethan finds out that you've been seeing another guy, he's going to be jealous too. <laughs> Until he finds out that guy is my brother. Sam, you're not very smart. <laughs> No, my plan is perfect. Alright, did you understand? You just have to listen to me and avoid being aggressive for everything to work, you know? Thank you, you're the smartest! It's great that we became friends! I used to be jealous of my boyfriend too, but that's in the past now. <laughs> <laughs> it can't be! I can't believe you're so great on TikTok! I think the best thing will be that we record a funny video together. I can't believe it! <gasps> <laughs> it seems you can't control your anger either. <laughs> Are you crazy? Violetta, what did you just do? Violetta! What's the matter with you? You must stay away from my boyfriend. And you... I can't believe that girl is a crazy psycho! The good thing is that my amazing hair is still intact. When did you become so self-absorbed and selfish? Come on, all that matters is that the plan worked out! It worked great! He didn't expect at all to see the spy girl being a crazy psycho. It's enough! What were you doing with them? Let me go! What is happening? Just watch! And you'll see how lucky you are for having me. It seems that both couples are crazy. Do not even say it. The good news is that everything will go as planned. 
Yeah, I am so glad we got to bother that annoying spy girl. We should continue doing this. I hope I don't take any more of those blows. Hey, don't think about the negative stuff. Well, we gotta think about what to do now. We gotta do everything to upset Violetta. Oh, look, it's her. Hide. Yeah, my friend. I think that defending you was the best. Where did those girls come from? I think that I already know them. <laughs> she really is a very silly girl. How come she didn't recognize us? I think that having dressed up just like this was an incredible idea, you know? Ladies, does anybody want to order anything? Thanks. We are a good for now. It's that annoying Emma. What's wrong with her? <laughs> That's the girl who wants to hug and be with my boyfriend like he is her boyfriend. So you're jealous because of her? Well, that information seems very interesting. That's the girl who has bad grades, right? Of course. She always needs my boyfriend's help. Hmm. She approaches him to talk about books. She is very annoying. Um, I checked with my superior. You can't just sit here. Hmm. Okay, Sarah, let's get out of here. Let's find a better place so we can eat all that we want. See you later. They're really annoying. Well, how come my brother wants to go out with Sarah? You know, Sophie, it seems like we found an ally. Her, uh, really? You think we can trust her? For starters, let's just try to be friends with her. Hello, Hello there. there. Hello. Uh, I'm so bored. Listen, Ethan, how about we invite our girls to a party? Hmm. The girls? <laughs> well, yes, we could go out together. I don't know. Violetta will just do what she always does. She will get jealous for whatever reason. So what? Sarah will do the same. Oh, let's do it tomorrow. Anyway, I think the girls had plans together today. It's kind of funny how quickly they became friends. <laughs> yeah, it's shocking. Here is the tea. Violetta, why do you have all these strange clothes here? Oops, I seem to have forgotten that all of my costumes were stored in this room. And what are you wearing all these strange outfits for? Well, uh... Oh god, are you a criminal? Listen, I really don't want to go to prison just for being your friend. Just calm down, I'm not a criminal. <sighs> I was very scared. I'm actually a spy. What? Mother! Hey, don't scream! Sarah, I really trust you. But no one else should know about my little secret. It can't be possible. And does your boyfriend Ethan know about this? Of course not. He would never let me perform my duty as a spy. And for how long have you been doing this? It was right after I started dating Ethan. So you really are very jealous then. <sighs> yeah, it's what made me want to become a spy. Ethan, here's your tea. Mm -hmm. Ethan, <clears throat> how was your day at school? <laughs> I can't believe it, so cool. Ethan, <laughs> mm, he's probably talking to some other girl. What's up, guys? Violetta? Yeah, yeah. Surprise, Ethan. I didn't expect you to come here. I brought you something to eat. Whoa, thank you. You are the best girl in the world. Hey, Violetta. If you're here, I have to tell the cheerleaders not to come. What kind of cheerleaders? <laughs> Our girl loves Ethan. They don't even let him alone. <laughs> come on, Sam. Don't say that nonsense. <laughs> I'm being serious. Mm, how interesting. And that's when I started to get tired of being suspicious and started to follow him. Wow! 
So he really doesn't know about it? Come on, girl. Of course not. I'm sure he wouldn't forgive me. <laughs> of course. I also wouldn't want someone to be following me around. Well, for me, it's really cool. Cool? And I was also approached by some of the police. And they hired me to catch two bandits. Wow. Tell me. Did you manage to complete the mission? Of course. I took care of those two girls very easily. Oh, I almost forgot. <laughs> oh, please help! My little trick worked. Now I have to go on a date. They won't bother anyone anymore. Girls, I still don't understand what you're saying. I don't know any Violetta's. But you probably know her boyfriend. He has gray blonde hair and also a very cute smile. Ethan? Are you talking about Ethan? Yeah. Oh, yeah, I know Ethan. He's a very handsome boy. And besides, he really likes you a lot. What do you mean by that? It's true. Who told you something like that? We heard him talking to his friend in the hallway. He was telling his friend that he's actually in love with the waitress, Emma. Emma, that's me. Yeah, yeah, I knew it already. I'll do my makeup and go flirt with him a little now. Good luck. All right, it was much easier than we thought. Now Violetta will surely be left alone and we will catch that spy girl soon enough. Yeah. Violetta! Sarah, is something wrong? I was thinking, and I decided. Come on, just tell me, what did you decide? I'm so tired of always suspecting things about my boyfriend. I understand. And what do you want from me? To find you a new boyfriend? Of course not. I only love Sam. The thing is, I also want to become a spy. Oh my, I can't believe it. Are you really ready for all the tests and missions to complete? Yeah, of course! I'm ready to do anything you tell me to! Alright, then come with me! Sit down! Girls, why did you bring me to a beauty salon? Are you saying that I don't look very good? Well... Um, I don't look good enough to flirt with Ethan, right? Honey, we will make you look so much better! We will use all we have to our favor. Ladies, I hope you're not thinking of dyeing my hair pink. Well, pink won't do it. How did you end up doing all this? Don't worry, we know what we are doing. Emma, you wouldn't even believe all of the things we had to go through to fix our hair. Hmm. <sighs> So let's just see what we can do to fix yours. Right now, all I want is to get out of here with my hair intact, really. <laughs> uh, Violetta, what's up? Am I going to be able to be a spy or not? <laughs> just be patient. Oh, this is just what we need. What are you waiting for? Go try it on. <sighs> I hope the outfit doesn't fit her better than mine. Well, it's not exactly my style. Perfect. It seems that I look better. Sarah, you finally have the image of a true spy. What are you talking about? It's a silly stereotype. Why should spies wear black only? Haven't you seen all the spy movies? Well, we are not in a movie. I want to be a flashy spy. I think nothing good will turn out of this. Okay, try it. Well, I want this, this, and also this. Hmm, you should have chosen my option. I can hear you. <sighs> Just change for once. We must do many other things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, wow! Very cool! It turned out better than I thought! Perfect! This is what I will wear! 
Okay, but first we have to go pay for all of it. Because we are spies, not thieves, you know. It can't be true. This is all really strange. Shut up, Emma. We have to avoid being seen, understand? And right now, let's just move on to the women's section. Why are you acting so strange? Oh, shut up, Emma. No one should see us or hear us. Why are you hiding, girls? Tell me, are you criminals or something? Of course not. Do not say foolish things like that. I'm going to show you now. This is exactly what we need. Oh my, I like these dresses. They're beautiful. Yeah, yeah. I know that once Ethan sees you, he's going to faint. Okay, I'll go change then. I really hope all this works out. Uh, she will finally look like a true beauty. Yeah, I'm sure that Ethan will immediately understand that he should be dating her instead of that awful spy, Violetta. Yeah, yeah, very soon we will see that happen. Alright, Emma, how did the dresses fit you? Oh, oh wow. wow! You know, I really like my new look. Yeah, everything turned out so much better than we planned. Okay, are you ready to go? Yeah, Ethan will be mine. <laughs> what the heck is this place? Everything here is very creepy. Just look up there. What? A tattoo salon? I already know, you're probably afraid of this. Tattoos only hurt a little. What? No! Of course not! All my life, I have dreamed of getting a tattoo! I can't believe it! You are not an ordinary student! You are a bit of a rebel! Surprise! Just help me choose a design! I don't understand. Why did he come to the hospital? And why didn't we pay for the dress? I do have money, you oh, know. Emma, how many questions will you ask? My head is spinning because of that. We don't need to buy anything at all. Don't you get it? Even if we had money, it's our passion. But they could take us to prison for this. So what? <laughs> <laughs> we have good friends there. Plus, all the guards are really very cute. Now let's not talk about that here. We will need some blood. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> you should keep calm, girl, and don't worry about it so much. We are talking about artificial blood. For what? Tell me, is it Halloween? Listen, it's just part of the show. I know Ethan is going to focus only on you tonight, believe me. I am completely sure about it. Um... Your methods are really strange. All right, let's go find him. Come on, harder. This is very difficult. I can't get all my aggression now. Come on, I know you can do it. I'm serious. I can't hit any harder. Very good. Try to imagine that the punching bag is the face of your ex-boyfriend. Oh, or the girl who flirts with your current boyfriend. You will see now. Nah! Hmm, that turned out better than I thought. <laughs> it seems that she hit very hard. I really didn't expect to be able to do that. You did it very well. Just when you said to think about Emma, I actually got really mad. I can understand the feeling. Oh, hello, girls. There you are. We looked for you everywhere. Did you forget you have boyfriends? We should always be together. It's just that Violetta and I became very good friends. And besides, now we both have the same hobbies. I have never seen Sarah using a punching bag before. <laughs> it's shocking, dude. You don't even know what I am capable of. Okay, we just came to invite you both to a party. There's gonna be an amazing party. A famous DJ will play tonight. We are going to a party. If that's what you want, let's go. No, we are not done yet. This matter is really important. We can't go out with you tonight, guys. What, what do, do you mean? mean? We bought tickets for everyone. It's a shame, but we have other plans. Violetta, let's continue. 
Uh, I can't believe it. 